What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another video. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful weekend. Hey Bobo. Hey, my dog is right here. I just greeted my dog. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be covering task one and task two, and this is the task one question that we'll be solving today. Talk about a time in your life when you faced a difficulty and explain how you solved this problem. Now, you should be able to skim through the question very quickly with your eyes, and hopefully you understood what the question wants you to talk about as soon as you finish that. That's how you're gonna be able to take advantage of the additional preparation time that the test gives you. Now, for this question, I'm gonna say that for my beginning sentence. Out of all the difficulties that I faced, I can say with the utmost confidence that last year's science fair was the most difficult one that I had to solve. So my opinion is last year's science fair was the most difficult one that I had to solve. I'm not gonna say difficulty again, because I already said that in out of all the difficulties that I faced. All right, so that's the beginning sentence. You should also have your ending statement organized, okay? So the ending statement is very similar to the opinion. Therefore, last year's science fair was the most difficult challenge that I had to solve. I use the synonym because difficult sounds, well, is almost the same word as difficulty. So you shouldn't say was the most difficult difficulty because that sounds too repetitive, right? So I said was the most difficult challenge that I had to solve for the ending statement. All right, now for the first reason, I'm gonna say this science fair was very challenging for my group, all right? So that's the first reason. This science fair subject was, B verb, a uh, challenging adjective. Now for the second reason, I'm gonna say the science fair was also really rewarding. So for the second reason, instead of just saying on top of this, for this sample response, I'm gonna have to say on the other hand because the first reason is focusing on something negative, whereas the second reason is focusing on something that's positive, okay? All right, so those are my two reasons. And for the first detail, I'm gonna talk about how we weren't able to uh, really meet on a regular basis to talk about what the project would be on. And for the second detail, I'm gonna say we still ended up getting the second place prize despite all of our uh, adversities and hardships. Okay, now that we know what we're gonna say for this response, let's listen to my sample response. Here it is. Try to lip sync if, if possible. Out of all the difficulties that I faced, I can say with the utmost confidence that last year's science fair was the most difficult one that I had to solve. First of all, thanks to the experiences I've had, I realized that this science fair was very challenging for my group. I believe this to be true, mainly due to the fact that we didn't have a lot of free time to get together with each other to talk about this project due to our busy schedules. On the other hand, the science fair was very rewarding. In my perspective, this remains true to me since our group still ended up getting the second place prize despite all the adversities that we had to overcome. Therefore, last year's science fair was the most difficult challenge that I had to solve. All right. Whoa. Okay, all right. All right, this one stopped a little bit later. I was kind of surprised by that. All right, so anyways, that was my sample response for this question. Um, for this response, you're gonna be able to use for any question that wants you to talk about a negative experience that you had, okay? So talk about a time in your life when you were nervous, anxious, uh, maybe even disappointed. For disappointed, you're gonna have to change the first detail a little bit to um, my group members didn't keep their promise or didn't keep their word and kind of uh, backstabbed you, more or less. So you're gonna have to tweak the first detail just a little bit for, uh, for disappointed. Uh, however, you basically know from now on what to talk about for a negative experience that you've had, hopefully, all right? Okay, now let's move on to the task two question. All right, all right, welcome back. All right, this is the task two question that we will be covering today. Some people believe that friends have a bigger influence on us than our parents. Do you agree or disagree? I didn't write that, but this is a agree or disagree question. All right, now here's the beginning sentence for this question. It's also gonna include my opinion. So listen carefully. In my eyes, the statement that friends have a bigger influence on us than our parents rings true to me. So I'm gonna agree with this statement. Now for the first reason, I'm gonna say friends are surprisingly influential. 
And for the second reason, I'm going to say friends are also very important. Or I'm, yeah, I'm going to say important, okay? All right, so that's my beginning sentence and my two reasons. Now, for the first reason, um, which had the adjective influential, I'm going to say friends can shape uh, our personalities and our behaviors for better or worse, okay? So we, we end up resembling, resembling the kind of people that we uh, hang out with. Now, for important, I'm going to say we usually spend most of our free time with our close friends, okay? All right, now here's my sample response. In my eyes, the statement that friends have a bigger influence on us than our parents rings true to me. To begin with, the first thing that came to my mind as I read this question is that friends are surprisingly influential. This is mainly due to the fact that the kind of people we hang out with can shape our personalities and the way we behave for better or worse. In addition, another reason that supports my opinion is that friends are also very important. In my perspective, this notion makes perfect sense to me since we usually spend most of our free time with our close friends. As a result, I think that friends have a bigger influence on us than our parents for these two reasons. Okay, I'm not going to say thank you for your time and consideration. All right. Now, after I was done saying the second detail, I had about three seconds left, so I didn't say thank you for your time and consideration. So keep that in mind. You don't have to say thank you for your time and consideration six times out of six questions. That's overkill. So if you said thank you for your time and consideration for task one, don't say it for task two. Try to refrain yourself from saying it by either speaking a little bit slowly. Yeah, that's the only method, okay? Don't try to add more information to eat up more time. Just speak a little bit more slowly if you want to eat up more time. Understand? Okay, so those were the sample responses for the questions that I wanted to cover today. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up icon. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the little uh, bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you guys get the, uh, get the updates as soon as possible. If you're a first time viewer and thought that my video today was helpful to any degree, please subscribe, hit the uh, notifications button, and share the word. Okay, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is going to be focusing on task three and task four. See you guys next time. Peace out.